from the Tie Cats Audio Network. This is Tie Cats Today with Braden Neville. You're listening to Tie Cats Today. I'm Braden Neville, and joining me on today's episode is the first 1,000 yard rusher for the Tie Cats since 2010, James Butler. James, it's Monday after American Thanksgiving. How was the weekend for you? I'm sure it was was busy with some family and friends. Yeah, it was busy. I'm still full <laughs> from from all the food. I tried not to have more than two plates. I maxed myself out at two plates. I really starved myself. I skipped breakfast because I wanted to be hungry for 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 a big uh big late lunch. So so it was it was, it was fun. It was definitely good to be back, see my dog, see everybody. So it was super cool. Where were you for for Thanksgiving? You were in Chicago? Yeah, I went back home to Chicago. Saw some of my friends. One of my friends came back. He's living in Nashville. One of my friends was coaching for Syracuse. He actually got the chance to come back for for, for, the, for the day, too. So that was nice to see those guys. And did you get to see your biggest fan? Did you get to see mom Thanksgiving this year? I did. I did get to see my mom Thanksgiving for sure. So that was, that was super nice. We definitely had a, a little small Thanksgiving. So it was fun. What's the go-to dish for you? What's your, what's your favorite Thanksgiving meal? I like candy yams. I'm candy yams, connoisseur, and I love a good mac and cheese too. Yeah, yeah. I'm also, I'm also a ham guy. I, I, I really, I honestly despise turkey. I'm not a big really. Turkey. Yeah, I feel like there's no there, turkey's always dry. Like you know what I'm saying. I, I hate to say, I hate to be that guy. I hate to, you know what I'm saying. I like. I like a good turkey sandwich, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, I don't know, turkey on Thanksgiving is always like, eh. I'm you, you need I'm, the sides. You need the gravy and the and the stuffing. Yeah. I, I think it, it's one of those things you need to have something with it. You can't just eat turkey on its own. Like, I I, I think turkey for me is probably my favorite, but but you need the stuffing. You need the gravy. We'll talk a little bit about this season and and everything you were able to accomplish. But but what was that first year like for you being in the hammer and getting to experience the city and, and this fan base and, and being a Hamilton Tiger cat. It was exciting, man. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I was just trying my best to just take it in uh, as much as I can every day. It was definitely different at first, but um, it really reminded me of home, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Hamilton is, um, you know, it kind of reminds me of the Midwest, you know, being a Midwestern guy. So uh, it was just, like, I played against the fan base, but never actually got to be on the other side. So that was super nice to be in the black and gold. You know, that was super nice. I think we have, you know, the best facilities in the yep. league. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I think we have the best fan base in the league. I, I, I've never met. Actually, I have. Iowa's fans were super passionate. So I would definitely say the Hammer and Hamilton fans remind me of just super passionate, like, Iowa fans. Like, they, you know what I'm saying? They, they, yeah. they black and gold. So... So it was uh, it was exciting. It was definitely a good time. What city's windier, Chicago or Hamilton? When because <laughs> I we're getting that wind today. The snow's coming down as we're recording this episode, and it was a windy one today walking into Tim Hortons Field. But where do you think it compares to that Chicago wind? Uh, I would definitely say it compares. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, I've never played a game in mm-hmm. Chicago, so you know <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, I mean, not like a windy game like that. I played like high school, but uh, never professionally. So I would definitely say it definitely compares with the win. Yeah, that win is, will definitely hit you in the face. You have a big off season coming up to get prepared here for the next year in Hamilton. But what what are your plans for the off season? What's the training schedule look like for you? Man, so last year I let myself be guilt trip by Jameer uh, Jameer Diamond and uh, Manny. He plays for uh, he plays for BC. They were in like the second week of December wow. and I was like oh my god like, I just played a game three weeks ago I'm still sore but I couldn't let them get the one up on me yeah but honestly I think I'm finally gonna give myself a little bit of a break I'm gonna wait till January let my body heal and then start you know I go we go like five days a week wow every pretty much every day me and Jameer so um that's that's usually the training schedule but I'm trying to plan some trips <laughs> I know Jameer wants to plan a big trip for his birthday. Okay. But I got to get my passport figured out first. My passport's about to expire. So um, I got a couple trips. And I, my birthday's in February, too. So I'm also trying to plan a trip with some of my college buddies for that. But, yeah, so just just to push myself more. Because, honestly, I know it was, a, I know it was, a, it was, a, it was an okay year for me. But, like, for me, it was me. I just felt like I could have I could have did more. I felt like I, it was, I felt like I still left meat on the bone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Food on the plate. And, obviously – you know what I'm saying? Being friends with some of those guys from Montreal, you know, watching 
them celebrating in the, in the locker room. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. It's like, honestly, pull themselves up from their bootstraps. You know what I'm saying? It was super cool. But I feel like that's the cool thing about this league. You know what I'm saying? Montreal wins the Great Cup. No one picked Montreal to win no. anything before the year. You know what I'm saying? And they go pick themselves up, you know, plan from behind. You know what I'm saying? Every, every – critic you know is against them and they go and, and you know shock the world so that's pretty cool is there anything in this off season that you're looking to to really like focus on or, or is it kind of sticking to the same regiment uh no i definitely want to focus on i definitely want to focus on um i want to become a better route runner mm -hmm. uh you know what i'm saying i feel like i can run okay routes but you know so i don't feel like my route tree is very big i definitely want to focus on more explosiveness i feel like i made you know, some plays, but I didn't make as enough explosive plays as I feel like I could have. I feel like some of those eight to ten yard runs, if I could have just, you know, stepped out of the safety tackle or made one more guy miss or maybe had a, a little bit of extra gas, I could have I could have broke one. So just working on being more explosive, my route running, and I feel like my, my pass blocking kind of took a decline this year. I felt like it wasn't I wasn't as like um I wasn't as detail oriented in my pass block, and then also I put two balls on the ground, so I need to work on my my uh, ball security because I feel like I didn't like. I, obviously, I carried the ball during the offseason, but you don't really work on ball security. You just like oh, I play running back, I carry the ball all the time, yeah. So like it should come natural, but you know what I'm saying actually putting the ball on the ground twice. I had to like you know focus on it so much during this season, so I want to focus on that in the offseason. Just obviously getting bigger, faster, stronger, and I want to get I want to be smarter as a football player. I want to learn mm -hmm. like. Okay, what's the offense line doing on this play? Not just like what's my job. Okay, what's the offense line doing? What receivers are coming in the block so I can know like okay he's coming into this side so maybe I can set him up a little bit more so I can make you know what I'm saying so I can make that move. So I honestly just want to become smarter. Honestly, in every day I got, I got so much to work. I got I got a lot to work on this off season, but I definitely just want to work on uh, getting obviously bigger, stronger, faster, but just being more explosive. I feel like I like I said I feel like I left some meat on the bone. I got I got a lot of work to do. The way you're talking right now, JB, it's almost as if you didn't have the best running back season in 13 years for the Thai Cats. But do you feel like being your own worst critic is really what propels you to get better each season? That you're you're almost never satisfied with with what you're doing? Yeah, 100. I feel like I feel like once you start getting satisfied playing, that's like when you start to get start to decline because like. I had goals this year, and I, I hit some of them, but I didn't hit all of them, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And I really want to hit those goals. And then, obviously, you know what I'm saying, being in a comparing, contrast league, you see what other guys around the league doing, like, oh, wow, he went crazy. Like, I look at Brady's year, mm -hmm. stupid, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. guys like that guy, even the guys in uh, at Ottawa, or, you know yeah. what I'm saying, from, from Edmonton, or even uh, – Olette, you know what I'm saying? All yeah. those guys are just, just doing their things. You know what I'm saying? So, obviously, the running back, we're getting better each year. So, we just got to keep propelling to, to keep trying to push each other, push guys to be the best, you know what I'm saying, and push guys to, to try to get what the, the running back deserves, you know, because it's kind of a it's kind of a whatever position now. And and all, all loves of football. It's not just us. You mentioned you're going to be training with Jameer Thurman. You did that last year. Is he someone you knew before you came to the Ticats? That was always a relationship there? Yeah, I'm no, I'm known, I'm known Jameer. I known of Jameer since high school, but we, we got uh, closer once we like started to play like professionally. So I'm known, mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm known uh, Jameer a long time. And what's his training like? He, I mean, Jameer is such a jack guy. You know, he's so big and strong. Uh, and what's what is he like in the gym? He must be an absolute animal when he's working out. Uh, he, he's a dog, man. And I, <laughs> that's kind of where I get my competitive nature because obviously, you know, I feel like I could I train against the best linebacker in the league. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's no better person that can push yourself and obviously he's big he's mm -hmm. fat he's faster than people think that he, that, that he is and he's more athletic than people think that he is and he's obviously you can see he's super strong so you know what i'm saying so you know if jameer's hitting the weight i'm like i gotta hit it and then try to beat it you know what i'm saying yeah or yeah yeah the weight <laughs> and i can't hit it like i gotta come back next week and hit that weight you know what i'm saying it's a good partner to have yeah exactly or like sometimes since like our group has obviously getting smaller since we've been playing a while now. So we get a we get a we get like some college kids usually, or like the 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 uh, the kids that are coming up that are you know pre training to be professional. So we're always like two team captains, and our trainer always makes us the captains <laughs> of the two teams. And I'm always trying to be Jameer. And, I, and what's funny is our trainer is super cool. Like we'll do like three weeks heavy, and then we'll do a deload week. Mm -hmm. And then after every, like, on the Friday of every D-Low week, it's like game day. We pick a different game. It'll be dodgeball, be kickball, or, or, or damn, uh, 
wiffle ball, and when I tell you, it gets intense and <laughs> and them dodgeball <laughs> dodgeball games. You'll think that me and Jameer aren't friends. How we argue <laughs> over a over a wiffle ball or four or four square, like you know what I'm saying? It's it get, it get it gets intense, but it's fun though. I gotta see some videos of uh, Jameer Thurman versus James Butler in a game of dodgeball. We gotta get some of those some of those nah. training videos going, man. I can only nah, imagine. Bro, those- those are in the archives. I'll, I'll break those out one day for sure. <laughs> Just talking about this year and working with Rob Payne, how was that getting to get to know him and, and seeing how his mind kind of works, such an analytical guy, and, and being alongside him throughout the season? Yeah, I, I, Rob, that's my guy, man. I remember the first time uh, he brought out, like, his, like, analytical, like, the, they're in a 4-2 and 3-4, and they missed this amount of times. And I remember reading it, and I'm like, I feel like I'm – about to learn how to fly a plane like what are all these numbers and letters like what is what is this like yeah like the, the the short cliff notes version of this but yeah he's so smart and obviously you know what i'm saying him coming from playing on defense helps out you know a lot on offense so that's that's nice so he was always uh and i kind of let i love that he like let me be me you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i'm kind of a lot i'm kind of you know i feel like every every athlete's kind of a little prima donna you know a little bit of it you know what i'm saying so he kind of like let me be me he didn't let me get too high, get too low, cause like, cause like you said, like if you, if you, if anybody were to ask me how my season was, I thought it was terrible. You know, it was, you know, what I'm saying. But he kind of like brought me back down and said, like, hey, you know, what I'm yeah. saying, like, you do your job. You know, what I'm saying, are you, you know, what I'm saying, are you controlling what you can control? So I definitely think Rob, uh, we definitely compliment each other a lot because you know, what I'm saying, sometimes I get super high, super down on myself, and he just, you know, will bring me, bring me back down to earth. So. I remember talking to Rob at the beginning of the season when PFF came on board and I was kind of picking his brain about how it works. And he explained it in such a, such a way. I I thought I was learning advanced calculus or something. So definitely a good guy to pick his brain about when it comes to football. What was that like the first year with coach? O? I mean, such a motivator, a guy who can really see how every guy ticks. And when you talk to him, you can really tell he's, he's almost like a psychologist. This is the the way he is and his mindset, but what was it like for you and your relationship with coach? O? Man, Coach O cares, man. That's mm-hmm. the one thing I can say. He cares, and he cares more than just, like, you know, number nine running back yeah. on, on his football team. You know what I'm saying? He really cares about, you know, like, James Butler, the man, the the future dad, the future father. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, he, yeah. he cares. You know what I'm saying? So so I felt like – but that, that that's what I got from even when I was um, – before I got here, I was, uh, like, Don Jackson is like my brother. You know what I'm saying? So he was giving me kind of the ins and outs, but honestly, getting the C in – you know, be in those meeting rooms with Coach O and getting a chance to talk to him, like, more than just about football than about life. It's just super cool, you know what I'm saying? Coach yeah, O yeah. was a guy that, you know what I'm saying, that I will run through the wall for. You know what I'm saying? That I would be out there on one one leg, one ankle for because I, I want to win for Coach O, you know what I'm saying? I want to I want to see – I want to succeed just like I want him to succeed. So he's just a coach that, um, that I love to play for. That's definitely a, a first, like, First kind of coach I play for like this that like that that is like like you said that's like a psychologist that you know what I'm saying yeah like, that's the motivational videos the quotes you know what I'm saying the mm-hmm. get it out on three you know what I'm saying yeah it's, yeah yeah it's, uh, he has the but, best quotes too man like, wow, <laughs> like sure. the best the one group I want to ask you about that because they're such a funny group and so important especially when it comes to your job is that O line in front of you oh I mean I mean those guys are like you see them with each other all the time they're so funny yeah. and so laid back but when it comes time to get to business they're all about getting a win but but what is that relationship like with you and those guys and and how close they are and especially them being in front of you I love those guys man like I said like those like that I know they look just like big and goofy man but those <laughs> dudes are smart man yep. you know, they be like locked in I remember my car broke down, so I had to roll with like sacks in practice, like there and back. Not really realizing his schedule, thinking he'll he's on the same schedule as me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, like yeah. guys go a little bit early, might work out, and then you know what I'm saying, might get in the cold tub, watch practice, eat, and go home. I'm, okay, mm-hmm. cool. Like I'm thinking that's his schedule, but like nah, he's with the old line. So obviously the old line gets there early, works out in the morning before practice. Mm-hmm. Then after practice, they ice tub together. <laughs> yeah. They- eat together then shower and then they all have the same treatment time yeah they watch practice then they watch the other team and then they watch uh you know what i'm saying <laughs> yes. like six like five six o'clock and i'm like we've been done practice two hours ago like what are we like what are you doing here but 
But nah, those dudes are so locked in, man. They were definitely the closest, close knit group. And obviously, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the team only goes as far as the offensive line. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know, we got banged up on a few positions, which is sad, but it was cool to see a bunch of guys step up. You know what I'm saying? And those were, it was led by some really good vets and definitely a, a lot of guys I love to play for. So, so those guys, are the, that, that, was, that, was, that was a great group of guys. I love those guys, man. They, they did their thing. Like I said, like if any, any running back runs for a thousand yards, it's never on them. It's on yeah. you know, the receivers and, and the old line doing their thing. Go back, going back to your off season here. What do you have planned other than football? I know majority of the off season you're training, you're doing this, but do you have anything, anything going on this off season you look forward to aside from the game to kind of escape for a bit? Yeah. So like I said, Jameer is planning his birthday. He wants to go to Columbia. Okay, <laughs> Columbia. He's hella extra. Wants to do the, the absolute <laughs> most. That's Jameer though. So I want definitely want to go with him for that. That's in January, and then yeah. my birthday in February. Yeah, I've all, never been to Mardi Gras. My birthday is during Mardi Gras, so I go to New Orleans for Mardi Gras. We really want to do that. One of my best friends stays in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. He always tells me I gotta come out to Tennessee. I've been there a couple times. I've heard it's wild there. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to go to Tennessee. That'd be fun. And then, um, and then I just want to go somewhere warm. Maybe <laughs> not so like tropical. Maybe like just like a California, Florida, something like that. Somewhere, yeah. somewhere warm because obviously it's gonna be super cold in Chicago, but. Uh, that's what I'm planning on doing. And I want to get back to reading my books, man. I, I was doing really good, and then the season started, and then I just kind of ended. And then also, don't let me not do this. I want to start my podcast again. Yes. Okay? I'm We're waiting for it. We want it. I'm going to start my podcast again. I, I blame everything on just being busy with football, but I got to figure out how to compartmentalize and have a life outside of just – the yeah. season when the season starts but i think i think it'll be easier if i start before the season starts so i'll have like you know maybe some some episodes before so i'm not like shuffling around but um but yeah so that's what i want to start really obviously i want to go travel do all that stuff but i really want to get back into reading into podcasting into making content and stuff like that it's busy right you have so much especially during that season it's hard to to do everything you want to do why does jameer thurman want to go to columbia does he have a reason for it or is it just a place I he wants he's never been he just he uh, he he just he, that's just Jameer that's just Thurman man I don't know yeah. like he went to Europe last time I forgot where I forgot where they I forgot where them guys went but he went to like Europe uh last year and I think he's just you know he's a saying? traveler yeah he's he's a traveler man like he's a type he'll if we're going to Colombia he's gonna have every single day planned okay he's got the <laughs> itinerary out he's got the itinerary <laughs> like all types of stuff like sending me TikToks of Colombia. I'm like, I'm down. Like, I'm not a planner. I'm, yeah. I'm always down to go, but I'm just not a planner. I didn't say I wish I need to become more of a planner, but I love that about him. You know what I'm saying? So I already know, like, if I'm going to Columbia with Jameer, I know I'm going to have a great time. I know I'm going to do some stuff that I never would have thought of yeah. doing. Hey, James, I hope you have a great off season. You're going to be training. You've got so much going on. I'm probably going to catch up with you after all this to see how the trip went and how yeah. your off season has gone. But man, It was great getting to catch up with you and we'll talk to you soon in the next couple months. So thanks again, James Butler, for joining me on Ticats today. Appreciate it, boss, man. I love y'all. Hey, Ticats fans, we're going to get it done. 2024, you heard it here first. Don't be back. Going to turn up the hammer and we're going to see y'all out west in November, man. Y'all heard it here first.